Hey there, Fit Fam. Michael here, MorelliFit.com. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to clean up your diet without going insane. So I get emails all the time from people who are like, oh my gosh, I, I have to have this and I have to have that. And what am I going to do without pasta and these kinds of things? And so I want to talk to you about cleaning up your diet because if you want to lose weight, if you want to have a chiseled body, if you want to get healthy, then ulti you, know, you have to do these things. You have to clean up your diet. You, know, you, you can't go on like this forever. You, you know, you're, you're gonna die. You have to clean up your diet. You have to replace that, those processed foods, refined carbs and sugar with whole foods and, and, and you know, vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and, and all these things so that you could live long and healthy. Uh, you know, I say this all the time, I'm like, you know what I want? I want to. I want to just fall over dead in my garden at like 90. I don't. I don't want to be hooked up to machines um, and and oxygen tanks and on all kinds of different medications like the rest of the world is. So you have to take these things into consideration. So that's what I want to talk about. Really simple stuff here today. Easiest way to clean up uh, to clean up your diet without going insane. And the first thing is one thing. All right, one thing at a time. Every single week. Choose one thing and remove that from your diet. Don't go, you know, if you've got five or six or ten things that you love that are causing problems and wreaking havoc on your body, and you know that you know what these are: soda, uh, popcorn, uh, chips, candy. You know what they are, right? So one thing at a time. If you're drinking soda, you should probably start there. Cut your soda out or cut it down. Right? If, you, if you absolutely need to have soda, then you need to ration it. You need to start cutting it down. So one thing a week, all right? One thing per week, all right? That's what I want you to do, all right? And now, the other thing that you can do too is as, as you're eliminating things, you're going to have to replace it. You're going to have to. So for me, I love Starburst and Skittles and all these things. Now, dark chocolate. I have a little piece of dark chocolate in the morning, and so that's how I satisfy my sugar craving, right? You have to find little substitutes, healthier substitutes for the things that you love and enjoy. Otherwise, you're going to go insane. Like I said here, you're going to go insane. All right, so one thing every single week. Um, the next thing is clean out your cupboards. Let me tell you, uh, I speak from experience. Um, if you have got stuff that you're not supposed to be eating in your cupboards, you will Fail, period, end of story. You will fail. It, you can We, you know, and that goes to the second, the third thing. Willpower. We have a finite, a finite amount of willpower in a given day. You know, and that's exactly why. Here's here's a perfect example. And studies show this. I, this I'm not making this up. So studies show that we have a finite, uh, a finite capacity for willpower. So in the morning. You're resilient, right? Oh no, 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 no! I don't need that. No, I can, you know, push it to the side. All of a sudden, the later it gets, you go by the fair and you see a slice of pizza, and you go by the custard shop and you see some ice cream. All of a sudden, you're pulling over, right? You're pulling over because you cave in your willpower. You only have so much willpower in a day, so you have to clean out your cupboards. You have to make sure that that stuff isn't sitting in there, so that you, you know, you're walking by it. Eventually, you're going, to, you're, you're going to cave. You're going to cave, right? So one thing at a time, get those cupboards cleaned out. Now, I know if you have kids, if you're like me and you've got kids, gosh, it is a challenge for sure. Um, it's going to be tougher, right? It's going to be tougher because what you want to do, ideally what you want to do is you want to get your kids eating the same thing as you. For me, it's a little bit easier because we started so early that my, uh, that my daughter eats the same stuff that we eat. As a matter of fact, we were just out and we put bread in front of her and she's like, oh, that's slimy. It had like a little, I don't, I don't remember, it had like a little butter or something on it. But we've taught her to eat this way since day one. So it's a little bit easier for us. Gosh, for those of you who haven't done it this way, you've got your work cut out for you. Slowly start finding alternatives and research recipes and start doing things um, so that you can bring healthy food in and get the crap out. And then willpower. You know it's finite now, right? You know it's finite. Do your research on this. I'm telling you, we have, we have, you know, there, there's a finite amount, and once it's once it's gone, you're caving. So, listen. With that, I hope you found this information useful. I hope that uh, that you're going to clean out your diets. I hope that you're going to re start removing one thing, one processed, one one chips or uh, one bag of chips or your soda or something. Just start 
little bit, little by little. Uh, and before you know it, you're going to be on to whole foods from as close to nature as possible. Your body is going to be changing. Uh, you're going to be losing weight again. You're going to look good. You're going to feel good. And then all of a sudden you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I don't even want that stuff anymore. So I hope you found it, uh, as I said, I hope you found it useful. I know I'm, uh, I'm beating a dead horse, but as always, as I always say, be patient, stay the course, and let's get fit together. Take care.